Hey, what's up, guys? The Undefined Variable here for episode 2 of Java Spigot slash Bucket Coding. So, um, I'm not going to be going into setting up Eclipse every time, obviously. I am going to go through setting up your project. But if you want to download Eclipse and the JDKs, go to episode 1. So, in this episode, we'll be focusing on listeners. Um, listeners are events that happen in game that's the best way I can describe it I'll show you so we're gonna do a new Java project I'm gonna name it YouTube tutorial EP2 and I'm gonna make a package me dot teddy one dot tutorial again uh, actually I'll do yeah I'll do tutorial again tutorial and I'm gonna make a class. I'll name it main again. Alright, and just like last time, main class extends a Java plugin. Oh, okay, so I forgot to import spigot. So, libraries, external jars. From my YouTube server, speak about jar, apply, okay. So there we go, Java plugin. And I'm gonna do after that, I'm gonna type implements listener. Just so we can have them in one file. We're gonna do our on enable again and our on disable again. Public void on enable. And add override public void on disable. Uh, again, we're going to do get logger dot info. I don't know if I went over it in the last episode, but this displays something in console when the plugin's enabled. So I'm going to just do um, ytep2 enabled and get logger dot info ytep2 disabled. Disabled. Okay. Next, we're gonna. So we have an add override, but for events, you need a class that implements listener, and you need to do the following: at event handler, just like that. You need to import event handler from a uh, thing. Uh, will it import? Oh, event. Oh, I spelled it. Oh, whoops. So you do public void the name of it. So I'm going to just do on join because it's going to be when the player joins. And now the type of event. Player join event. Just like that. The caps like that. Event. And then open it. Import both of those. So if you search um, for spigot slash bucket java docs, you'll find all the events, which is perfect. Now we're going to define some variables. Variables are just a quick way we can access information. So we could do player, so it's saying it's a, it's a player, player, which is the name of it, equals event.getPlayer. So we named our event event. So we're doing event.getPlayer, um, which, which is the player that joins the server. And then we we'll want to import player. Next, uh, we're gonna do event dot set join message null, just so it doesn't broadcast in yellow when a player joins the server. Next, we're gonna do we're gonna send the player a message. So we're gonna do player dot send message quote, and we're gonna do chat color dot translate alternate color codes again. Oh, let me get rid of that. Oh, this is stuff that we covered in episode one with the alternate color codes. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do hmm. How about we do n six and l for gold? Welcome back, and d and l for pink. Plus, so I'm gonna do plus, which means another thing, and we're gonna do player dot get name so that's their name 
and then I want to add more after that. So I'm going to do another plus and open the quotes again. And then I'm going to do comma and 6 and O to my server. Just type my server. But we got rid of the join message and we need to have it broadcast when a player joins because otherwise you won't know when somebody joins. So we're going to do bucket.broadcast message. This is just a simple way of doing it. Uh, oh, no. That was a link. Uh, and I'll do and b and l and b plus player dot get name plus quote space has joined the server exclamation point so that's just saying that a player joins the server so what you need to do is you need to register any class that ha that implements listener how you do that is you go into your on enable you do get server like that dot get plugin manager dot register events register events make sure it's not those it's register events this comma this so the first variable is the listener class so which is this file this class and the second one is the is the class that extends Java plugin. So since this is always going to be in your Java plugin class, the second one is going to be this. The first one is this because it's the same file. This file implements listener. Um, you know what? We're going to do another listener in a second class just so I can show you. So we're going to do a new class, and I'll name it. I'll name it chat. Yeah, I'll just name it chat. And we'll do implements listener. Okay, so at event handler public void on chat, I'll call it async chat event event. I think it's called async chat event. Is that right? Ooh, async player chat event. Yeah, async player chat event, that's what it's called. So this is when a player types in chat. So if, uh, no, we're going to make another player, player player equals event dot get player. So this is the player who talks. Next, we'll make an if statement. If player dot has permission, quote, actually, no, we're not going to do that. So we'll do uh, we'll just do event dot set format quote chat color dot translate alternate color codes so we're gonna hmm, so this sets the uh, chat format we're gonna set it to n7 uh, we'll do level colon and r zero. This is just you know a template. If you were to actually have levels, let's say for your server, plus player dot get name, and then you need to do plus. Let's say I'm going to do space plus event dot get message, which is the things that the player typed. So it's going to work. It's going to say level in gray. Zero in white. Next, we'll do the. We'll actually do the player's name in yellow. So we'll do Andy. And then a space. And then we'll do their message in green. So we'll do and a. So this is all good. The only thing we need to do is we need to register it. So another. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm just going to register it. Get server dot get plugin manager dot register events new chat because that's the name of the class with the listener comma this and then I'm going to save it so the last thing we need obviously the plugin dot yml plugin dot yml 
save it. All right, so here is the plugin YML. We'll do name colon yt listener. Um, uh, I'll do author. So you do author, and then you could do um, I'll just do my name, the undefined variable version colon 1.0 main so the main was me dot darth 31 dot listeners uh was it no me dot darth 31 dot tutorial tutorial dot main with capital m because that's what we called it commands one two three four i don't know if four spaces matters uh Actually, we don't have any commands. So if you don't have any commands, you don't need the commands line. Save it. Here we are. So we're back here. Um, and I'm just going to refresh just so that we don't have that error that we got last time. So let's export it. Jar file. Uh, you could just do the plugin YML. So this is where I'm saving it. I'm going to save it as EP2. EP2 finish. Alright, so now I'm going to meet you in my servers folder. Alright, so we're here in the server folder. Here's our thing. Grab it and put it in the plugin jar. Here's EP1. I'm just going to get rid of that. So, EP2. Now, I'm going to go to my start command. I'm just going to start up my... Alright, and our server is starting up, so I'm going to head to my game. As you can see here, YT listener, enabling YT listener. Uh, so this is the default message. You can't get rid of it, to my knowledge, uh, th though you probably can. And then here's the message we put, YT EP2 enabled. And if I do reload, we can go back to where we reloaded, and it says, if we look for it, here we go, YT listener disabling it, and then it's been disabled, and then it loaded it and enabled it again. So let's head back to our game and check out our listener. Alright guys, so, let's join the server. And as you can see, welcome back to Darth31 to my server. And <laughs> I forgot to chat color dot translate alternate color codes, the broadcast message. Um, but that would have been in blue if I had done it. Darth31 joined the server, so you can see it did not say it in yellow. Okay, so now that we showed the join, I just realized I forgot to show you guys the chat. So if I type in chat, hello, as you see, level zero, dark 31, hello. Anyway guys, thank you guys for watching episode two of Java Bucket Spigot, whatever you want to call it, plugin tutorials. Um, you can leave a comment below if you want me to do something specific and I'll try to do it. Anyway guys, see you in the next episode.